Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Sunday the 19th of March. It is my review of the week that was and my yarn adventures for the past week. In my previous video about my week that was last week, I got a little behind because I did the markets and there wasn't a lot of crafting time. And this week I used it to catch up on some make-alongs and projects that I have on the go. So I have some finished objects to show you and then a bit of live chat which will include the markets. Um, if you want to stick around to the end that's great. If you don't I understand if you want to leave after I've talked about the crafting. So first off the ranks I was behind in my Bod Had a Palooza make along. So this was not last week, the week before and I have made. This is called the String of Pearls Beanie. Bag o Day tutorial. All the tutorials and patterns will be linked in the description below, including any channels I mention. This I really like. It look, I've said it before, my model heads are a bit small. This is actually a little big for me, and I have quite the book head. But it turned out really well, and I did not color control it. And I really did enjoy it, even though puff stitches are hard on my hands. So the yarn I used is a Karen Cake Colour Funfetti. I have about half of it left. This was um, given to me by um, my friend Janice, a subscriber in Victoria, who sent this to me last year. I just shot my stash for the hats and I thought this was close to being similar in colour way that... Um, Crystal used at Bag o Day, it would give it some character because I can't always have access to the yarn she used, but it turned out really well. And I just used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as per normal. There's probably enough in there to make a little hat, another little hat, so that's quite good. This particular tutorial also comes with a matching scarf if you want to make the scarf. So this week's hat was the Easy Child Hat by Bag A Day, tutorial 554. And I really enjoyed making it, probably because it was just so easy. I didn't have to concentrate. I could do it in front of the TV. And it turned out really nice. So I have made this one. Ta -da! Sorry, it's a boy head. No girl head. I have to get one. I was in Spotlight and found this great pom-pom. I don't normally put pom-poms on hats, but I did think this was a great match for this hat. I also use Crystal's tip where I have sewn a button inside. This pom-pom has a stretchy elastic bit. I thread it through the hole and it goes around the button. So when they want to wash the hat, they can take the pom-pom off and wash the hat. And just use a very mild damp cloth on the pom-pom to keep it clean. But yes, it turned out great. I really like it. For this one, I used one of my favorite yarns, Lion Brown Heartland. <gasps> so soft. And yes, about half a skein used, shopping my stash. I probably could have made the matching scarf because there is a matching scarf to this hat, but I'm not really into making scarves at the moment. And this is Color Olympia. It's sort of a bit tonal, I guess you'd call it. I'm not sure what you call it, but yeah, it turned out really well. And I had this one skein in my stash. So hopefully, combined with other stuff, I'll be able to make and something else and use this up or use it for scraps in Amigurumi Wars, which is my segue into my next finished objects. So Amigurumi Wars is the, um, our event organiser is... Anita at YOH Crochet. Sorry, I'm reaching for a pattern. And this month is hosted by Charm Grammy Crochet Lynette. And I have been working on this for a couple of weeks, mainly because it's a lot more involved than I would normally make. But I did want to give something a bit more challenging a go. So here is Patches the Bear. Ta -da! He's made in a variety of scrap yarns. The blue and the cream and the torpy colour are um, premier everyday worsted weight yarn scraps. The dark browns are um, Marvel 8 ply super 
um, Marvel 8-ply Spotlight yarn scraps and the yellow and the green. Here's um, Karen Simply Soft leftovers. So he is supposed to have a heart patch here. But Lynette said if we embellished ours with either Easter or spring, we'd get extra points. And I just thought, because when I was making him, he was starting to look like the colours of Ukraine, that I would make sunflowers, which is the national flower of Ukraine, and remember our Yanni friends in the Ukraine. And let's not forget, life is still very difficult for them. He's carrying a little sunflower. He has one there and he has one on the back. The scarf is part of the pattern and I do believe it covers up a multitude of sins with the neck because what was different is for me is it wasn't crocheted in one piece. You crocheted to there and then you did the head separately and you joined and my join's not that great and if you really look closely he's looking off to the left. Reap said he's pretty cute. Um, thing was a little bit more judgmental when I he's all right he's not perfect his ears do flop a bit they're not quite right but that is my patches the bear except he is my spring bear that I have made the pattern is a now you can pay for it on Ravelry or you can um, pay for it on Etsy or you can go to her blog and there's a free pattern there with all the ads, which is what I used because that was the first one I came across. And it is by Craft Craftably Ever Amis. I think that's what it's called. The pattern's about $5 Australian um, if you want to purchase it. She does have a YouTube channel. So remember, all the links will be in the description below. I was really pleased to finish him. I know she has another um, tutorial of a free pattern of a bear that I might give a go. He's sort of lopsided, but hey, he's cute enough. So my next Amigurumi finished object is another free pattern. And it came about, um, I think it was Karen who mentioned in a comment that she uses a little Christmas tree to hang all the stitch markers on and it looks really cute. And I remember I'd mentioned that to someone who had actually sewn scrap material to make a tree that you should hang your stitch markers on. And I thought, that's a good idea. So then I went looking, and now I can't find the pattern. Here it is, for a pattern for a tree. Thinking of spring, and I found evergreen tree. I think it's supposed to be a spruce. That's the picture of the pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry by, uh, which you just have contact lenses, I think. The original design by Carrie AU. I, think, I don't know if AU, AU is a name, but it's AU. So it looks, mine looks a little different because the clovers, as she calls them, which are the branches or leaves, she did three chain and I wanted mine a bit bigger. So I did four chain, but it is the same height and oh, probably a bit wider. But there is my evergreen tree. And I've started putting some of my stitch markers on it that people have sent me. The idea is I will sit it up there and I can just pick a stitch marker when I want to rather than, than be put inside a container and out of sight. I think it turned out really well. I really quite like it. It's got a um, hard piece of pla plastic in the base so it sits up it doesn't fall over and yeah i used spotlight super saver which is 10 ply aaron full weight whatever and the color is in the funny name for green it's mallard that was the color i use and i shot my stash for that too i did have a full skein of that i haven't used it all but i shot my stash again so i am using my yarn stock up I really like it. I know it looks boring. Along with the bobble hat and the, these clovers, my hands were aching. They are not that easy to make when you have old arthritic hands. But I thank Karen for mentioning that because I think that was a great idea to display my stitch markers. I'll find a place for it up there. 
So that is my finished objects and my yarn adventures for this week. So I'm going to go on to a bit of a life update. So if you want to leave me now, that's fine. Thank you for stopping by and watching this bit. And I hope the new subscribers enjoy the content. The life update contains information about my future market stalls and just a bit of life. Because this week, life's been an emotional roller coaster from down there to up there to there, down there and back to there and back to there and back to there. Um, and that's probably why I'm feeling drained today. First of all, thank you to all those people who um, wish me well with my eyes. They are 100% better, except I can't use eye makeup for a few more days because this one is still quite sensitive, but the drops did work immediately. So, markets. As predicted in a previous video, I received the email about re-registration and the pricing structure for the markets from the new not-for-profit club that is going to be organising our community markets. And yes, there's a price increase of, don't fall off your chair, 80%. The price is going up for the fee for a stall by 80%. That's just unprecedented. I've spent 40 years in business and I've never known anyone to put their prices up by that much. I have sent an email requesting an explanation for the price increase and I've given them seven days to reply to me. I don't think I'll get a reply, but I do intend to do some research and take the matter a little further because that's me. They are not for profit. So why do they make, need to make 80% on every stall holder when the current economic climate is really difficult? In Australia, our CPI, our Consumer Price Index, is currently at 7.2% and most businesses just put their prices up by the CPI, but not these people. So that's my rant. I'm not happy. I probably won't do any more community markets down there. I've discussed it with Reeves and um, Thing and Doreen, Emma's mum, who I often fundraise for. And there are some markets around town that just happen casually. So maybe if I'm around I'll, and I feel like doing them, I might register for one of them and go further afield. Um, having said that, I've already got a commission to do some tea towel toppers for someone who was told that I do them. So I have to... I have developed a little clientele and a name, a word of mouth advertising from the local markets and the previous people who did an amazing job and kept the fee at a reasonable cost. That's it on the markets. Life. Well, personal life, my holiday is booked for the UK. Yes, at about 18th of August, I'll be leaving Australia and heading towards London and Thing will meet me there because I think it's the end of May or early June he'll be heading off to Spain to do some exploring of Spain and Portugal because he's retired he can do that and he'll meet me the same day I land in London he will be on a plane from Barcelona and meet me I think he arrives half an hour before me because the tickets are booked and paid for and we are going from London, where we catch up with our son, we're heading up with our son and his partner to Edinburgh, and we have tickets to the Edinburgh Tattoo. It's not something I ever thought I'd want to see, but why not? We're there and we've got tickets, so why not experience something new? And then from there, we will be exploring parts unknown, and hopefully I will be bringing a video to you while I'm on holidays. And Thing tells me, on the way home, there is a four-day mystery stop that he won't tell me about and the travel agent's not allowed to tell me about before we head home to Australia. My bosses are really excited for me and happy that I'm going and I will be taking an extra week's uh, annual leave. But having said that, work this week got very messy and full of dramas and I found it very draining. And it's been like on and off like that with someone for a couple of months. Um, we've had a meeting and hopefully it's been sorted but if it hasn't I did discuss with Thing and Reeves that I may consider retiring at the end of the year 
I would go before I went to the UK, but there is a big fundraising event and I would feel like the people that have supported me in the job for the last eight years, that I was letting them down if I didn't stick around and, and organize that. And I know they appreciate that. So that's my life. It's been excitement down. I spoke to my son in London yesterday. We were getting excited and yeah, and we both said, if we never thought of the tattoo, but if you're there, why not? And want to experience some different things in life and especially music. I do watch the Edinburgh tattoo occasionally on television when they replay it. So um, other than that, between the markets and the traveling and then work, <laughs> Yes, it's been a roller coaster. Unfortunately, when we're in the UK, I won't be exploring a lot of the south of UK. But if you're in the areas I am at the time and you want to catch up for coffee or lunch or just to say hello and you watch the channel, let me know. Because um, I'll certainly let you know where I am at the time. So it's exciting. That's what I've been focusing on with all the other dramas, just travel. As far as my fundraising for Emma's Quest goes, I'm going to work as, by email discussing it with Karen, who helped me a lot within my setup of my Etsy shop. I'm going to push my Etsy shop and put some more things in there. I've got some things in my tubs for the markets that I took out of the Etsy shop that haven't sold. So I'll put them back in there. Um, guys, all I ask a favor of you is that you go to my Etsy shop and favorite some of my items so that they climb in the algorithms and get noticed because the same sort of thing will apply. Um, I'll just take out the costs and any net profit will be donated to Emma's Quest. Same as my Made It shop and same as Kofi. Um, it's all about I will be and once I finish fundraising for Emma's Quest I'll probably just give it to another charity so there you go it's been an interesting week and the weather's not great today it was sunny this morning I went out to weed and no sooner had I gone out to do some weeding in the garden than it decided I'd have a downpour yes we're coming towards the end of our wet season it can be sunny for an hour and then, then it starts to get overcast like this and then it'll go really dark and we'll have a rain shower. And I mean a rain shower. So guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching and staying to the end and hearing about my life update. I am super excited about traveling um, because I know some of the things I have on the list that I want to do. I hope you check out some of the Bag O' Day tutorials and make some of the hats and scarves ready for your winter at the end of the year you're about to go into spring and summer we're about to go into winter and yes consider checking out and making a patches bear or as i call him my spring bear until next time stay safe stay well and make sure guys your life isn't a roller coaster but if it is have a crafty day at the end of it bye for now